Hello everyone, Herman Vargas again from the College of Coastal Georgia, and I'm here to share a very cool project that was part of one of our courses at CCGA. This was from the course MATLAB and C-Sharp Seminar, where the students Jedediah Lindborg, Austin Benton, and Jackie Bonds did a truly three-dimensional graphing calculator. So let me explain what do I mean by a truly three-dimensional graphing calculator. So, so far, if you were to use something like MATLAB or Maple to generate a three-dimensional graph, what that is going to do on a regular screen is going to be a two-dimensional perspective projection of what the three-dimensional graph is going to be. And you can rotate the graph. You can uh, see different views of the graph, but you're going to have to generate a three-dimensional idea in your head. Now, to overcome the inadequacies of having to see that on a flat screen, we use the Oculus Rift virtual reality headset. This is the Oculus Rift DK2. We had just recently the release of the consumer version, and we have this great piece of hardware already grouped with another great piece of hardware, which is the leap motion sensor. And I'm going to show you how cool this experience was. Now, there are going to be some issues. First of all, there's a little bit of lag on the video feed from the webcam. And you're not going to get to enjoy the truly immersive beauty of doing this using the headset. Unfortunately, you're going to be seeing that on a flat screen as well. But still, I'm going to show you some really cool things that the students did in this project. So first of all, I'm going to turn this on. And before we get into what the actual experience is, I need to show you something first of all. All right, so as you can see, this webcam just happened to detect what it looks like a very like solid plastic is actually uh, transparent to infrared and all those LEDs are just going to be the ones that are going to communicate with the positional camera that is going to tell us where the Oculus Rift is located. The Oculus Rift, of course, responds to all the uh, head tracking in terms of rotation and then the position. And then now let's get into the actual experience. So I'm going to put this on. I'm going to have to be peeking here and there just to make sure that uh, I can click any, er, all the things that I need to click. And before we start with the actual experience, I'm just going to show you something really cool. So the first thing is that thanks to the leap motion sensor, voila, I have my hands then in the virtual world. I'm going to move back a little bit so that you can actually see my hands as we do this. So that's it. My hands are there. Very nice. Now there's going to be a little bit of lag. So the movements that I do with my hand are not are going to there's no lag for me, but you're going to be seeing a little bit of lag on the actual video feed from the webcam. So now I'm going to show you here so you can actually rotate there with your head to look around the the scene here. And what the scene is, it is like a a museum of three-dimensional graphs. So I'm going to just show you here a co some cool three-dimensional graphs. We got uh, combinations here of sines and cosines. Same thing for this one here. We have some sines and cosines. You can actually explore the whole graph and look inside of these display cases. We got some whiteboards here that you could actually uh, try to interact with. All right, let me show you another one. This one, of course, for all those uh, math geeks here. Uh, very nice. A saddle. Very nice saddle graph. I'm going to show you a few other graphs here. we got a discontinuity here in the middle. All right, we have another graph that incorporates some reciprocal function. So again, yes, we got some discontinuities there. And then this one, what could this be? Well, it's going to be an absolute value function. It's just that now we have the X and then the Z component, the Y is going to be vertical. But now the cool thing about all this is what we're going to explore now. Oh, nice. So what we have here is a table where we're going to create our graphs. 
So far, we're going to be doing some other changes to this, but as you can see, this is going to be a user interface that you're going to be able to interact simply by using your hands. So I'm simply going to get closer here, and I'm going to choose one of these functions. So let's pick, uh, let's pick the absolute value function here. So I'm simply, we, I'm going to just point and then click. All right, nice. And then I'm going to get here to graph, and then I'm going to click on graph. Now the graph is happening. Let me hide this. Nice. And we have this graph. Now we're going to be, we can see now this truly three-dimensional graph. We can go around the graph and see all the features of this graph. Very nice. Let me try another one. So let's go for our saddle, our saddle graph and let's graph this. And I try to hide this really quick so that you can see the whole thing. Very, very cool. Let's try another one. Oops. We got, oh, I hit that. That was not the intention. Let me try that again. So signs, let's try this, right? That one was in red simply because you can actually use the remote controller to do that. But this is even nicer if we just do it with our hands. Very cool. You can actually, because of the position of camera, I can actually look underneath the graph. And then let's see, let me just peek and make sure that you guys are seeing me as I take a look here down. All right. And then even cooler than this, I'm just going to get closer and check this out. I can actually move the graph. <laughs> so, so yeah, of course, this is one of the, the nicest things of this is that you can then at the end just mess up the entire graph and yeah, just don't mess up the computer that you're using to do that. Very cool. Finally, just a little video that was going to tell you for those that do not know CCGA, let me leave you with this. At the College of Coastal Georgia, we're particularly proud of our award-winning facilities, our outstanding faculty and programs and our beautiful residential campus. We think you'll agree. Check us out online at ccga.edu. Nice. Well, this was fun. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.